Hi, Sanshi here. I'm gonna show you how to put the beeswax onto the didgeridoo. So first, I got a jar of cold water. Uh, room temperature is fine. Beeswax out of the beeswax wax kit. Basically following this uh, uh, instruction at the back. So, and I have a piece of cardboard to roll the uh, beeswax on. And here we go, it's a boil boiled water, it's really hot. So I'm gonna first mix the about half and half of uh, cold water and boiling water. And it's like, oh yes, you can still touch it, but it's hot. And you whack those wax in and just wait until beeswax gets soft. If it's just a boiling water, the beeswax will melt away. So make sure it's a mix of the cold water and then it just, ooh, this is hotter than the bathtub water. Um, and soon the beeswax change in the color because um, it's nice and hot. Just wait until wax gets soft, um, about a few minutes. And let's see if this one's soft enough. We yes. <laughs> so now, ooh, sometimes break, but don't worry, you can put it back on. So now um, I'm gonna use the uh, uh, cardboard to roll into the shape. Just round the corners up. All right, so the wax got soft and then now rolled onto the cardboard. Because you use a cardboard, because the wax might leave the marks on your table. Now, uh, the edges are rounded off on the wax stick. Then it's ready to put it on a didgeridoo. Wax don't need a glue or anything. It's just sticky enough to stick itself. And a couple of pointers. Uh, wax is making your mouthpiece uh, narrow to fit your mouth. Uh, if the termite hollow is too big to seal with your mouth, you need a wax. Another point is when you put the wax onto the didgeridoo, you don't want to have a gap between the didgeridoo and the beeswax. Then when you play, air leaks, that's not good. So uh, to avoid that, you can push the wax from inside sealing it. I'll show you. When the wax is nice and soft, it's easy to just shape with your finger, just pinching the finger uh, with a pinching, pinching the wax and just making the shape. So this is the inside part. I'm sealing with my thumb pushing against the didgeridoo where the gap is. Uh, so it's totally covering from inside, if you can see. So the index finger on the top, thumbs inside pushing. So, so it's kind of a pinching uh, with these two fingers. And just go around. Once when it's made, you can turn it, turn it around and you can work opposite. Now thumbs outside, uh, index finger inside, as you like. Once you've made it to the circle, uh, excess uh, wax can be teared off, just like that. And then just while wax is soft, make it neat. And I just aim the mouthpiece size to be about 30 mil uh, diameter. Uh, you can make it bigger, I like 32 mil but some players play a little bit smaller, so up to you. So important thing is the shape of the wax. You want to be kind of sharp like this way. Um, if you push in like this way, um, then when you play, uh, lips touches the wax and it stops the sound. So you want to make sure um, relatively sharp towards the mouth. Nice and flat, good size. Let's test the sound. Hmm. 
I can make it bigger while it's soft. Slightly pushing towards the outside. Gently, take your time. Find your favorite shape, size, etc. So let's try again. I think wax, it, wax on is done. So uh, a couple of uh, mistake or the uh, challenges is, so for example, like wax is getting too soft and then it's harder to work with. Um, then just wait until wax get, kind of gets cooled down. Uh, you can just mold into one. Again, you can try it on here. Just wait until wax will cool down, so it's going to be easier to work with. When you are living in the colder places, wax can get really hard and it's really hard to work on. Ah! Then, you can take it off, put it in the hot water, wait until wax gets soft, then work it again. When you find a gap between the wax, don't worry, just add an, an, another piece onto here. There you go. And then join together. Just keep on pinching where the join, joining part is and also inside with the thumb working with the wax while it's soft. When should I change the wax? Um, it's time to time, uh, it's different how often you play or where you stored. Um, when you look at the didgeridoo, mm, that's too dirty, I don't want to play, that's the time to change, I think. Uh, you can keep on uh, cleaning with a, uh, just picking the dust with a nail or alcohol swab to just cleaning, keep on cleaning, but one day it'll become, it's time to for change. Could be a couple of months, could be half a year, who knows, um, depends on your, uh, how, how to keep the didgeridoo. Uh, some people use the, like a bottle holder or covering to keep the wax clean, but some people just to uh, have the didgeridoo on the stand or towards the wall, uh, looks nice anyway, so. Uh, collect the dust or sometimes you drop uh, into the dirt or beach sand and it's like a, oh it, it's hardly ever get clean so that's a time for change so it was easy right all you need is a hot water some jar with a water and have a half half mix and then beeswax and wait until wax gets soft then start working on make sure is tight and then yeah you can do it again if you stuff up uh, and take just take your time and find your nice mouthpiece size happy digging